Today is our 20th anniversary. Yes. 20 years. I don't know how you survived it. But that's not what we're here to talk about today. Uh, well, first, let me remind you that 10% of everything we earn on our channel goes to veterans and veterans in need. And uh, there's lots of different ways you can help and all that stuff's in the description below. And at the end of all of our videos, we honor fallen heroes, which we will do at the end of this video. So make sure you stick around to the end to help us honor a fallen hero. But let's get to the subject of the day, which is not our 20th anniversary, mm -hmm. which normally would be the subject of the day because it's a big deal. It's, it's but we have, big deal. Yeah, but <laughs> we have a bigger deal going on. Yeah. Scout. So we're less than two weeks now from hitting the road full time in our RV and we travel with a bearded dragon. Scout. He's our buddy. Yes. Had Scout for over a year. Yeah. <laughs> Her baby. My buddy. My baby. Um, took him to get his, his checkup yesterday mm -hmm. uh, to get road ready and he's just over a year old so it was an annual deal and uh, he had I issues going number two. Go. Yes. <laughs> So we did the, uh, the doctor did the enema, mm -hmm. and it went a little bit. Not much. Yeah, she was still concerned, so they did some x-rays, and uh, still a little backed up. And so she was like, we'll bring him home, you know, get him in the bath, try to get him to go. See if the enemas yeah, still take effect. Yeah, because sometimes it takes a little while. And um, <clears throat> so it's the next morning now, and mm -hmm. he still has not gone. And mm -hmm. she says if we can't get him to go by today, this morning, um, then he'll have to go into surgery tonight, yes. which is very concerning. Yes. Um, reptiles don't do well in surgery. Um, so it's a little tricky because they don't do as good as other animals in under anesthesia. And they're so tiny. Yeah, and they're little. So if anything goes wrong, if it goes wrong really fast, it's hard to get, it's hard to fix. But they don't have a lot of blood. So if something happens and they lose some blood, even a little bit of blood loss is a huge deal. And the other thing is, is their skin, because of the way reptile skin is built, it takes a long time to heal. Yeah. She said it could take up to a year to completely for an incision to, to heal. Yeah. Uh, so it's a long, long process of healing. And the other part of it is, which is probably the least of our concern, but it's still a big deal, is the cost of the surgery. It's a lot of money. Yeah. Um, we'll pay it Absolutely. because it's because <laughs> it's Scout, and we'll <laughs> do whatever we can. Um, <clears throat> but we can't help but be a little freaked out. Yes. Because um, we had Rocky, and it was a different situation. It wasn't an impaction like it is for Scout, but it was. Uh, she had to go under into surgery because of an ovarian cyst, and um, it was probably because of the cyst, not because of the surgery. But yeah. but Rocky didn't survive during surgery, so well, well survived the surgery. Yeah died shortly after the surgery yeah. uh, during closing mm -hmm. but anyway it, it, we're just i mean i'm freaked out i, I know you're freaked out yes. i mean even though it's it's an impaction deal it's, it's a real the, the vet says routine for for them but still you can't help but be freaked out and we don't want surgery and recovery times and we would just rather him go poop yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so he's over there under his heat lamp hopefully cooking a turd up <laughs> We're gonna give him a bath. Uh, sometimes that moves stuff along. But we've been giving him several baths. Yeah. Um, but we're gonna let him sit there under the heat for a little bit. We're gonna give him a bath, and if we got nothing, then we're gonna call the doc and see what's going on. It's kind of gonna run into a, a, our timeline today because we were. Uh, I have a dentist appointment in Columbus, which is about an hour away. So Leslie, if he has to go to surgery, Leslie might have to walk him down to the vet, which is probably three or four blocks from here, but not super far. But. Um, we just want to avoid it all. We had plans to, it's our 20th anniversary, we had plans to do something other than reptile surgery. <laughs> yeah. But um, we'll take you guys along with us, uh, whatever happens, and, and we'll let you know. And uh, so, let's get Scout pooping. <laughs> Easier said than done. <laughs> <laughs> let's get the poo! This is Scout's current situation. He doesn't like the camera. He's over here, hopefully cooking a turd up. I'm cooking a turd. <laughs> the more I move the camera around him, the more he like twitches and stuff. Maybe it'll upset you enough to go poo, huh? No. 
Okay. We're prepping the bath. Nice and warm. That's our final, final shot. He's watching you. Yep. He's like, oh man. Another one. I've had three baths. <laughs> In two days. Yeah. Keep getting them until you make a deposit. <laughs> don't need you. Go look at yourself. <laughs> Just look at yourself. <laughs> I know you don't want another bath. I'm tired of the bath. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> What are you doing? Trying to get out? Hmm? You wanna get out? You can poo you can get out if you poo. If you poo, we'll let you out. He's like, fuck that, I can get myself out. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need you to get me out. Still no poo. Nope. Actually escaped from the tub. I was trying to record him <laughs> escaping from the tub, but he doesn't like to be recorded, so. Yeah. Every time I try to record him, he would just freeze. I can relate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she freezes when I put her on camera too. <laughs> but um, anyway, so we called the vet and uh, talked to the tech and kind of weighing our options there. She's gonna talk to the doc, get back to us, and see if we're gonna try some other stuff or if we're gonna go to surgery this afternoon. We'll let you know. I just talked to the tech again. You don't even know what she said. No, I don't. <laughs> Y'all are going to find out at the same time Doctor. as she does. Um, Dr. West said that because he is still so active and acting normal, mm -hmm. she wants to give him a little more time to okay. defecate. So she wants to give him until tomorrow morning okay. to go. We'll just keep doing the same thing we do. It's cool to feed him. So we're going to go okay. ahead and still feed him, keep him doing his normal thing. And um, and then we'll tomorrow morning we'll revisit. And she says she may want to do another x-ray to see at least if the gas moving. has passed the, the reason that we knew that there was some kind of something that hasn't come out yet because there's a gas bubble on the x-ray yeah and the gas bubble on the x-ray means that something's blocking, blocking it that from. so even if there is a slight blockage and the, the gas has moved around it and out then that's still so, good that's good because stuff can get out because that gas was like it's like pushing on pushing. other organs and yeah. things like that. So, um, even if he hasn't gone by tomorrow morning, we'll go back. We'll do another X-ray. If the gas is gone, she may give it more time. Okay. To pass, because it's not as critical. There's nothing pushing on anything. Just give it some more time, because he's got to go back next week anyway for his uh, deworming yeah. treatment. Anyway, it looks like we got uh, we bought a little more time for surgery. So we're going to continue on with our plan for the day, which is me going to the dentist, and then mm -hmm. we'll go do some anniversary stuff. We'll share some of the story on that a little later in the video, but we will continue this journey through Scout's bowels. <laughs> <laughs> through, <laughs> through Scout's bowels and keep you updated through the whole, the whole situation. <laughs> Unless he's got some banana in his syringe, because as the doctor told us that might help him go to the bathroom, she squirted some in his mouth. And now he is thoroughly pissed off. <laughs> he ate it though. He's cool with it now, he just don't like the thing in his mouth. He's got to squirt a little bit out and let him lick it. <laughs> We got the poo. <laughs> it's a big one too. It was like a <laughs> little human uh, yeah. poo. Yeah. So uh, now we are very relieved. Yes. Man, I can't believe uh, the stress is lifted. Uh, yeah. You know, because all the emotion attached to that. So apologize for having a video just about poo, but it's it's a big deal to us. Yeah. Uh, you know, it's our it's our baby. It's our scalp. So we're going to get back to uh, enjoying our 20th anniversary. Um, we're going to tell you a little, we're going to tell you a story, which you'll see in a couple of seconds. It's not going to be until later on, but you'll see it in a couple of seconds because we're going to, we're going to cut over to it. I have to go to the dentist real quick yeah. and come back and then we're going to do something special for our anniversary and we want to tell you the story behind that. So stick around and you'll see uh, the story. 
We got the poo. We're so pretty <laughs> poo. <laughs> I think we're, are we more excited about poo than we are our anniversary? Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> when you when you're married this long, you know your lizard poo. You get excited about poo. Everything. <laughs> Cow, you pooped. Yee! They pooped to me and Leslie all got really excited and we were like, yay, poop! And he's like looking at us like, what is so exciting? And I poop all the time. But anyway, he's been running all over the place this morning and probably trying to trying to work that out. So we're happy. Had some bananas, I think it helped. Yeah, the bananas probably helped too. He's not happy to be on camera right now, so I'm gonna let you go back to running around. But thank you for pooping, my good sir. It turned out to be a, a pretty good anniversary. Yes. And when the day started, it seemed a little grim. Yeah. It seemed like <laughs> none of the anniversary activities would happen. It seemed like we may be in the vet all day. It sounded mm -hmm. like Scout may have went to surgery, but we got the poo. We got the poo. <laughs> we got the poo. <laughs> so we're happy about that. So we got to go out and enjoy our 20th anniversary without having to worry about scout yeah. you know and now it's one less thing on our list so yeah. our list is dwindling yeah and we're now we're less than two weeks from hitting the road full time we're super excited about that yeah man it's gonna be awesome mm -hmm. we are now at the movie theater yeah i know what you're thinking you're thinking dude mm -hmm. 20th, 20th anniversary mm -hmm. you're gonna take her to the movie dinner and movie <laughs> really <laughs> And I get it, but uh -huh. this this has a sentimental, has sentimental value. meaning. Yeah, when we first started dating, twenty five years, years ago, yes. our very first date was to the movies. Mm -hmm. Did we do dinner before it? I don't think so. I don't think so At either. That stage, no, I think we just went to the movies. Yeah. We went to the movies, and the movie that we saw twenty five years ago was the debut, the very <laughs> first debut of The Lion okay. King. The yeah. animated version of The Lion King was yeah. our very first date. So mm -hmm. we saw that it was coming out this the, the year mm -hmm. of our anniversary. Yeah, and we didn't know like the exact date. It came out in July. So we were like, we didn't know if it was going to be still out. But uh, but now it's really cool that our very first date was The Lion King. Yep. And now we're going out on our 20th anniversary to go see The Lion King. <laughs> and today is the last day here that it'll be seen in the theater. Yeah, so. and it's the latest showing. That's right. So it's the very we caught the very last it's curtain call show. <laughs> so barely hit on our anniversary date. Yeah. If we if our anniversary was tomorrow, we wouldn't, we wouldn't be able, able to do, to do this. Yeah. But it's cool that it fell this way, and it co it's cool that everything worked out good with Scout. Yeah. And um, so yeah, we're gonna go enjoy the movie, and we're gonna get out of here. If you're still watching this, thanks for sticking <laughs> around to the end. To where we uh, can can honor a fallen hero like we do every week so we appreciate you sticking around for that so see that in just a couple of seconds but we appreciate you guys watching and uh, we'll see you next week bye, bye.